Bravo team. We've got one man down and several wounded. We are incoming and need medical on station staff. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Fire the track is destroyed. Unable to secure the safe transportation back to the Over. Roger that, Fire Team 2. Fall back to the nearest station and set up a CP there. Out. Fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Keller. I'm unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. Wilson, my team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind here. What are my orders? Over. Specialist Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Look to your last known RP and fortify your position. They'll find you.
Dr. Marcasian, at 1547, patient Jonathan Wills. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing check the work logs and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off, the mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. This is Grant Baston, the Environmental Services Supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some, uh, unexplainable things. Being on another... This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I've... This is Grant Baston, the Environmental Services Supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some, uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky. So we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and moving power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. 
I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get them.